What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Before I begin my comments regarding the class of 2020, I'd like to thank the parents, grandparents, and special friends who have sacrificed in order to help our graduates make it across this stage today. Without your encouragement, many of our graduates would not have reached their full potential. I would also like to thank the teachers, coaches, sponsors, counselors, administrators, and staff who've worked tirelessly to create the best possible educational experience for your student. Finally, I would like to thank our superintendent and Board of Education for their unwavering support and commitment to providing unlimited opportunities for all our kids in McCracken County. To the unforgettable class of 2020, I need to begin by letting you all know simply how very much I miss you. It's been difficult these past months at work, walking empty halls, passing by abandoned classrooms, no bells ringing, no fight song playing, just the deafening sound of silence and the occasional scurry of foot by an essential worker off to deliver a meal or touch up paint on the stairwell railing. I keep waiting for the bells to ring and the doors to burst open, followed by the stampede of students with, of course, a handful of seniors straggling in just a few minutes late, carrying their Chick-fil-A sack, praying that it's not confiscated at the door, hoping they can sneak off to class without having to sign in. Four years ago, when your journey at McCracken began, you sat anxiously with 2,000 peers watching Mr. C break dance on the gym floor. And now, your MCHS journey is ending as you sit at home with family and maybe a few friends, watching your first year principal try to make sense of all that has transpired. This is certainly not the high school ending any of us imagined, but as we are all learning, there is a new normal. We could probably spend a lot of time discussing opportunities lost, chatting about unfinished projects or certifications and whatnot, but I choose to focus on what has been gained rather than what is perceived as lost. Mustang Nation is closer than ever. We all have a renewed sense of family and friendship. We value our relationships and spending time with loved ones now more than ever before. We realize that this school and these last four years together have prepared us for any challenge life may throw at us along the way, and believe me, there will be many challenges. During the past couple months, we've learned a lot about ourselves and our lives have changed forever. Our hands are raw from sanitizer. We've learned that wearing masks is hot, sweaty, and not as easy as it looks on Gray's Anatomy. We've been introduced to many new terms like NTI, social distancing, Zoom meeting. We have followed afternoons with Andy, fallen back in love with Michael Jordan through the last dance, and will forever be less intelligent for having binge watched Tiger King, which still may be the most unbelievable part of this whole thing for me. In my opinion, there may never be another class from McCracken County High School that is prouder to be a Mustang than the class of 2020. 
Most seniors this time of year have high school in the rear view and their tunnel vision on the next phase of their life. This class, however, would probably give anything just to be back in school for one more day, to walk the halls one more time, to have that chance to say goodbye. You are certainly among the most unique classes in the history of McCracken County Schools. The class of 2020 will forever be remembered. Everyone matters, every moment counts. This year we began each day with this motto, a reminder to value others and seize every day as though it could be your last. Class of 2020, I'm so proud to be your principal. I treasure this year and the moment and will forever remember the joy you've all brought to my life. I'm proud of you and all you have accomplished, but most importantly, I hope the challenges we've overcome together will give you the confidence to tackle any obstacle, overcome any adversary, and let nothing stand between you and your dreams. After all, you're Mustang strong and we are all Mustang proud. I'll be honest, I've never spoken to a large crowd before, and I still haven't, considering I'm standing here talking to a camera. Well, class of 2020, we finally made it. All those years of hard work are why we're here today. Well, not technically here, but you get my point. I know this isn't how any of us expected our senior year to be like, but we've always been able to adapt and overcome any challenges in our path. Famous musician and philosopher Drake once said, sometimes it's the journeys that teach us a lot about our destinations. And our destination is the real world. And if our journeys taught us anything, it's that life doesn't always go as planned. Mr. Hauser's motto means a whole lot more to me now than it did back in August. Everyone matters and every moment counts. Each and every one of us has a purpose. And it's up to us to use that purpose to make the world a better place. Treat every moment like it's your last. You never know when it could be your last time to put on that McCracken uniform, or your last time to attend prom, or most importantly, your last Crispito day. I challenge you to live by this motto. Everyone matters and every moment counts. I would like to thank all the teachers, principals, counselors, and coaches who have helped us along the way. The countless hours grading papers, the never-ending lectures, and the plethora of scholarship information via Remind are all evidence of how deeply invested you are in our journeys, our destinations, and our futures. We wouldn't be here right now without your support or the internet. I would also like to thank our wonderful cafeteria workers and our bus drivers for quite literally going the extra mile to ensure no student goes hungry. I would like to thank our wonderful custodians for keeping our school sanitary. Even before this pandemic, you were the real heroes for cleaning up after us disgusting high schoolers. It takes a lot of courage to clean those bathrooms especially on Crispito Day. So before we head out into the real world, class of 2020, I ask you, what is your journey? What is your destination? What is your purpose? Better yet, how will you go out into the world and make sure everyone matters and every moment counts? I wish each and every one of you the best in all that you do. Thank you. Every moment counts. This reminds us to never take any moment for granted. Always enjoy the now, because every moment is filled with so many memories. That leads me, along with my classmates, to testify that every moment truly does count. I first want to thank our faculty and staff, to our magnificent teachers. Thank you for all of your constant notifications on Google Classroom to help keep us informed of all of our assignments that were due. It was your never-ending encouragement and support that got us through while we were experiencing this difficult time. To the administration, thank you for finding any way possible to recognize our amazing class. Whether it was the idea to congratulate valedictorians and salutatorians with a huge yard sign showing up at our front door, socially distanced of course, 
or receiving our caps and gowns and seeing your smiling faces as you shared with us how much you missed us. I mean, who couldn't possibly miss such an amazing group of kids like us? No other school has a staff who shows so much love and care for their students. You really do make us feel like everyone matters and our class truly appreciates that. Also, thank you to our wonderful parents and families. Thank you for always being there for us, supporting us, and occasionally providing the shoulder we needed to shed a few tears on. You have been there throughout our entire journey. You have never failed to listen to our complaints and worries and always provide us with words of wisdom and the I've been there stories. Thank you for always keeping our schedules organized, reminding us of our appointments, pounding us about our deadlines, and reading all of the novels Mr. Hauser sent out through the emails. Even though we might have missed out on a quarter of our senior year, I know for a matter of fact, we will still have many memories to look back on. Becoming the biggest sports fans, even those of us who don't really know the rules. Screaming at the top of the lungs for the Mustangs, along with the band distracting our opponents with their frequent chants. Attending or performing in the opening nights of plays or musicals where some people got to enter a whole different world to make the audience feel as if they were right there. Competing in intramural sports just for bragging rights. Or what about our very first MCHS memory, where we were sitting nervously in the cafeteria in eighth grade, wondering if our name would get called to be in the same house with our friends, only to realize that in the end, it truly meant no difference. Regardless of what house we were in, we all became Mustangs, and every one of us will miss where we found our fit into the puzzle. As we began our senior year, it started off differently as Mr. Hauser became our new principal, but I never in a million years would have guessed that the ending would have been totally different than anyone had ever encountered. Although we missed out on some normal last, normal graduation, finale of The Voice, which was a wonderful idea. Watching spring sports, missing Greece, senior skip day, prom, and all of the end of the year parties with tons of chicken minis. I know for a matter of fact that our love for Mustang Nation did not go away. This experience taught us a lesson, to never take anything for granted because you never know when that wonderful thing might end. We thought that by the end of the senior year, we would be the ones that couldn't wait to get out, but it turns out that we were the graduating class that hoped we could go back just one more day before we had to leave forever. MCHS, you were the best school anyone could possibly attend. Thank you for showing us that everyone matters. And thank you for being there for us when we really did discover that every moment counts. I feel like I can speak for all of the class of 2020 when I say that we will always be McCracken proud. Kaylee Michelle Zink. <laughs> Bailey Nicole Rossetti. <laughs> Nicole Leanne Perry. Travis Clayton Priddle. Caleb Dean Pearson. Allison Janae Henrod. Sydney Race Peters. Mickey Nicole Rogers. Kylan Clifton Powers.
Lamika Ebony Rao. Josie Mikhail Ray. Taylor Elizabeth Ray. Travis Dale Ridgey. Mason Stephen Robinson. Jack Harbison Radford. Cody Allen Rogers. Danny Catherine Hope. Alexis Jade Pitchford. Vanessa Noel Roberts. Chelsea Leanne Reeves. Alec Christopher Ramos. Colton Shane Reeves. <laughs> Rachel Ann Marie Roberts. <laughs> Leslie Christine Phillips. Christian Tade Richards. Baron Gentry Richardson. Jason Q. Andrea Thy Love Lachey Roddy Tiana Kiadra Nicole Sims Anna Jean Riley Jatasia Janae Scott. Carl Jordan Smith. Alexis Page Snipes.
Kayla Marie Rexroad. Jason Charles Smith. Jacob Allen Sassine. Isabella Grace Smith. Marie Seibert. Brooklyn Lee Sawyer. Lauren Brooke Shelton. Molly Kamei Smith. Garrett Matthew Schooley. Jaden Thomas Simrath. Braden Tyler Simrad. Addison Lane Sloss. Nicholas Ryan Shank. Hayden Nicole Shell Landon Drew Rudolph Garrett Blake Rudolph Sophia Rose Scheiben. Jackson Scott Sivils. Jillian Blair Smith. Wesley Tremaine Saxton. <laughs> Maxwell MacArthur Russell. <laughs> Cheyenne Elizabeth Slusmeyer. Joseph Hunter Shake Aliyah Nicole Simonton <laughs> Bethany Page Russell Ashton Joy Rudy (laughs) 
Brady Owen Shreves. Kayla Abigail Strait. Elliot Christian Stroud. Cameron Michael Tapscott. Morgan Paige Taylor. Rochelle Emily Steele. Brianna Jasmine Spaulding. Aspen Raquel Stacy. Lydia Marie Strait. Kieran LaShawn Thomas. Nathan Kyle Souter. Shakira Marquis Snow. Sybil Elaine Souther. Krista Leanne Sutton. Shelby Diane Stevens. Jessica Diane Stevens. Amberly Blair Nicole Tilford. Abigail Rose Thomas. Wilson Avery Spraggs. Zoe Renee Thompson. Zion Caden Michael Sullivan. Madison Paige Sperlin. Yes, Noah Charles Sternberg. Nicholas Lee Story. Aubrey Elizabeth Tilly. Woo! 
Aubrey Quinn Thomas. J. Alexandra Tennant. Morgan Elizabeth Tennant. Layla Cheyenne Alexander. Max David Thompson. Carrie Georgia Faye Walls. Yeah. Haley Patricia Trevero. Vito William Spadafino. Sebastian Hunter Valeris. Livia Barrett Wagner. Ellie Catherine Travis. Connor Dwayne Wells. Cademan Isaiah Vos. Haley Ann Watson. Carrie Ann Vanderson. John Weston Van Cleve. Kennedy J. Toon. Virginia Lane Walsh. Madeline Bailey Tucker. Skyler Tidion Weatherly. Hunter Derek Vick. Delaney Grace Tony. Emily Elizabeth Watson. Alessandra Lee Vertigan. Nicholas Stephen West.
Avery Catherine Wagner. Walker Christopher Watson. Lily Kate Turnbow. Carson Michael Utoff. Aaron Reese Todd. Alyssa Marie Todino. Chloe Dawn Warford. Addie Isabel James. Allie Marie Renelson. Joseph Israel Michael Versey. Carly Shea Mitworth. Valentino Ari Samaj Williams. Fatia Turkbani. Jackson Patrick Wilson. Joseph Cole Young. Hayden Riley Youngblood. Riley Sawyer Wicks. Adam Matthew Wright. Andrew Mason Windhorse. John Quentin Williams. Reagan Thomas Walden. <laughs> Levi Wyatt. Benjamin Thomas Willett. Elijah Jacob Wheat. Toby J. Williams.
Sydney Claire Woodard. Randall William Woodford. Silas Cooper Yancey. Dalton James Woodard. It is both an honor and privilege to serve as superintendent of McCracken County Schools. One vision, endless opportunities, is the mission and vision of our schools. Within your graduating class, you will have teachers, doctors, engineers, nurses, skilled laborers, artists, and more importantly, outstanding family and community members. Without a doubt, the class of 2020 will be remembered for many memorable accomplishments as well as graduating amongst a global pandemic. You not only studied history, you are living history in one of the most challenging times of the 21st century. Your resiliency and flexibility during these times and situations demonstrate that you are well prepared to seize the endless opportunities that await you in your next journey. Congratulations on the milestones and best wishes and all the historical moments that lie ahead of you. Now, Having fulfilled all the requirements set forth by the McCracken County Board of Education for graduation, graduates, I would ask that you move your tassels from right to left to signify your transition from student to graduate. And it is now my honor as Superintendent of McCracken County Schools to declare you graduates of the class of 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations to the McCracken County High School graduates of 2020, and thank you for the incredible contributions you have made to our school system. Historic events, even tragedy, often happens to some of the best and most special people and often unexpected. I've always felt things often happen for a reason and sometimes you just don't know why. Class of 2020 was already a special class dear to my heart. I've known many of you students and your families since we dropped our then babies off for their very first day of school. We as parents knew these five-year-olds would now be known as students. More specifically, the class of 2020. These students would each have a story. These stories would be memories both good and bad, happy and sad. Flash forward 13 years to March 13th, 2020. These students walked out of their last day of school not knowing it would be their last. Not ever has time slowed down and pretty much shut down. This time was unexpected. These students would start missing out of memories. Memories that had been earned. Although these memories were unexpected, everyone soon realized nothing could be done except the realization that life goes on. And it does. What everyone doesn't think about is it could have been worse. Class of 2020 has learned something that can't be taught. You've learned how to adapt and how to get through situations. I guarantee you will use this more than anything you would have ever learned from a book. So remember the good times, be thankful you got to have them, and learn from the bad. There are so many more happy lifetime experiences to come, like your wedding day, the birth of your first child, or even your fourth that will make you look back on these past two months and say, well, I would not trade these memories for those. So as you turn this page, you aren't closing the book, you're starting a new chapter and the best is yet to come. <laughs>